Hey, how's it going, everyone? My name is B046, and before I get started, I want to say two things. One, I got a tip from Brayden, who is one of my friends, and he told me to press this weird thing above load game. It's going to be like playing the game over again, but you're missing a character, and some things have changed, is what I was told, so thank you for that. I was going to put this one up, but there's a cord. Um, and second thing, Remy asked to make my face cam bigger, so I hope this is an appropriate size. I'll adjust it. I'm still on my bed. I just got back from Saskatoon. The concert was amazing, absolutely phenomenal. And I definitely want to be in a band more, so I want to work on my uh, rhythm part on my guitar a lot better. So I hope I can do good. But should we get into this? Um, well, first off, another thing is the whole where. Sayori was is now a mixture of all three characters, mainly Monica, but it has parts of uh, Natsuki and Yuri as well. Question mark. This music is like top notch. I don't even want to try and say that. They have the Euro sign for some reason. Okay. I see an annoying girl running toward me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. That girl is... Slonouchin. My neighbor and good friend since we were children. You know the kind of friend you'd never see yourself making today, but it just kind of works out because you've known each other for so long? We used to walk to school together on days like this, but started around high school, she would oversleep more and more frequently and I get tired of waiting, but... I don't want to see what she looks like now. Well, if she's going, she's after my fist and feel better off running away. However, I just sigh in front of the, cross, in front of the crosswalk and let slouch and catch up to me. It's an already school day like any other. Mornings are usually the worst, being surrounded by couples and friend groups walking to school together. Meanwhile, I've walked to school alone. I've always walked to school alone. I always tell myself it's about time I meet some girl or something like that. So the dialogue's changed so that she was never actually part of my life. Okay. But I have no motivation to join any clubs. I'm perfectly content just getting on by getting on the average while spending my free time in games on anime on games and anime. There's always the anime club, but it's not like there were there would be any girls in that anyway. The school day is as ordinary as ever and it's before I and it's over before I know it. After I pack up my things I stare blankly at the wall looking for an ounce of motivation. You know, now this is exactly resembling my life. Clubs. There really aren't any that interest me. Besides, most of them would probably be a good way to, for, to demanding for me want to, probably be way too demanding for me to want to deal with. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. Eric. Monica. It's kind of scaring me. Oh my goodness, I totally didn't expect to see you here. It's been a while, right? Uh, yeah, it has. Monica smiles sweetly. We do know each other. Well, we rarely talk, but we were in the same class last year. Monica was probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful, athletic. Basically completely out of my league. So having her smile at me so genuinely feels a little... What'd you come here for anyway? I can't breathe. I've just been looking for supplies to use for my club. Do you know if there's any construction paper in here? Or markers. I guess you could check the clo closet. Here in the debate club, right? Uh, about that. I actually quit the debate club. Really? You quit? Yeah. To be honest, I can't stand all the politics around the major clubs. It feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and publicity and how to prepare for events. I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make it something special out of it. In that case, what club did you decide to join? Actually, I'm starting a new one. 
the literature club. Na 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 jump skis. Na 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 na. Literature. This sounds kind of dull. How many members do you have so far? <coughs> Cough many. Um, haha. <laughs> it's kind of embarrassing, but there are only three of us so far. It's really hard to find new members or for something that sounds so boring. Well, I can see that. But it's really not boring at all, you know? Literature can be anything. Reading, writing, poetry. I mean, one of my members even keeps her manga collection in the club room. Wait, really? Yeah, it's funny, right? She always insists that manga is literature, too. I mean, she's not wrong, I guess. It has words in it. <clears throat> okay, and besides, a member is a member, right? Did Monica say she? Hmm. Hey, Eric. By any chance, are you still looking for a club to join? Uh, I mean, I guess so, but in that case, is there any chance you could do me a big favor? I want to ask you to join, but if you could at the very least visit my club, it would make me really happy. So she's taking over a big part. <coughs> Sorry. Almost good. She's taking a big part of what Sayori would do in trying to get me associated with the club and intermingle with them, right? Please? Um, well, I guess I have no reason to refuse. Besides, how could I re ever refuse someone like Monica? Sure, I guess I could check it out. Ah, awesome. You are really sweet, Eric. You know that? It it's nothing, really. Shall we go then? I'll look for materials another time. You are more important. Just like sacrifice me to the gods. And thus today marks the day I sold my soul to Monica and her irresistible smile. Not the cupcakes. I timidly follow Monica across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit, being generally used for third year classes and activities. Monica, full of energy, swings it open the classroom door. That's not okay. I'm back. And I brought a yes with me. Girl 1, A. Hey. Uh, a guest. Girl 2, seriously, you brought a boy? Way to kill the atmosphere. Don't be mean, Asuki. But anyway, welcome to the club, Eric. Oh, oh, all words escape me in this situation. This club is full of incredibly cute girls. Wow, it's not like I haven't been here before. So let me guess. You're Monica's boyfriend, right? What? No, I'm not. Natsuki. The girl with the sour attitude, whose name is apparently Natsuki, is the one I don't recognize. So she, like, carried over still that she doesn't like me or something? <laughs> the small figure makes me think she's probably a first year. Uh, anyway, this is Natsuki, energetic as usual. And this is Yuri, the vice president. Uh, it's nice to meet you. Yuri, who appears comparably more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with someone like Natsuki. Yeah, it's nice to meet both of you. So I ran into Eric in the classroom, and he decided to come check out the club. Isn't that great? Wait, Monica. Didn't I tell you to let me know in advance before you brought anyone new? I was going to, well, you know. Sorry, sorry. I didn't forget that, but it just happened to run into him. In that case, I, I should at least make some tea, right? Yeah, that would be great. Why don't you come sit down, Eric? Girls have a few desks arranged for to form a table. Yuri walks to the corner of the room and opens the closet. Meanwhile, Monica and Asuki sit across from each other. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Monica. Some of you didn't really plan on coming here. But well, make sure you feel right at home, okay? As president of the Literature Club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. I'm surprised there aren't more people in the club yet. It must be hard to start a new club. 
You could put it that way. Not many people are interested in putting out all the effort to start something brand new. Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention like literature. Yeah, but spooky games that are recommended to me. I mean, uh, that grabs my attention. <laughs> you have to work hard to convince people that you are both fun and worthwhile. But it makes school events like the festival that much more important. I'm confident that we can really grow this club before we graduate. Right, Natsuki? Well, I guess. Natsuki reluctantly agrees. Such different girls all interested in the same goal. Monica must have worked really hard to find these two. He returns to the table carrying a tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot in the middle. You keep a whole seat or hold tea set in the classroom. Don't worry, the teacher gives us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Uh, I, I guess. Haha, <laughs> don't let yourself get intimidated. Yuri's just trying to impress you. Uh, that's, that's not. Insulted, Yuri looks away. I meant that, you know. I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but at least... But I at, le at least I... But I at least enjoy tea. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. <clears throat> Sir, what kinds of things do you like to read? Well, uh... Considering how little I've read about... I've read these past few years, I don't really have a good a way of answering that. Manga? I mutter quietly to myself, half joking. And Suki's head suddenly perks up. Looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. Not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the room of her teacup with her finger. Her favorites are usually novels that fill deep and complex fantasy worlds. Not like I haven't been here before. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind this is amazing. Or them is amazing to me. And telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on clearly passionate about her, her reading. She seems so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious by the way her eyes lightened up that she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. But you know, I like I like a lot of things. Stories with deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well. Isn't it amazing how a writer can deliberately take advantage of the of their own lack of imagination to completely throw you for a loop? Yeah, yeah, words, yep, yeah, knowledge. Mm, boom, right in the right, boom, knowledge. Anyway, I've been rereading. I've been reading a lot of horror lately. I read horror book once. I read a horror book once. I desperately grasp something I can relate to at a minimum level. At this rate, Yuri might as well be having a conversation with a rock. Haha, I I expect that from you, Yuri. It suits your personality. Oh, is that so? Really, if the story makes me think or takes me to another world, then I really can't put it down. Surreal horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world, if only for a brief moment. Ah, oh, I hate horror. Oh, why is that? Well, I just... Natsuki's eyes dart over me for a split second. Never mind. That's right, you usually like to write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? What? Oh, this is when she gets mad about being called cute again. What gives you that idea? You left a piece of scrap paper behind last club meeting. It looked like you were working on a poem called Don't Say It Out Loud and give that back. Fine, fine. Natsuki, you write your own poems? Uh, well, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? I think that's impressive. Why don't you share them sometime? N no. Natsuki averts her eyes. You wouldn't like them. Ah, not a very confident writer yet. I understand how Natsuki feels. Showing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. You must be willing to open up to your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities and showing even the deepest reaches of your heart. Do you have writing experience too, Yuri? Maybe if you share some of your work, you can set an example on how nice you can feel comfortable enough to share hers. Uh, I guess it's the same for Yuri. We all sit in silence for a moment. Hey, I just got an idea. Me too. Shh, don't talk. I've read this before. 
How about this? We make our own poems and we share them, right? Natsuki and Yuri look quizzically at Monica. Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. The next time we meet, we shall share them. We all share them with each other. That way, everyone is even. Um, ah, I mean, I thought it was a good idea. Well, I think you're right, Monica. We should probably start finding activities for all of us to do to participate in together. I did decide to take on responsibility of vice president after all. I need to do my best to nurture the club as well as its members. Besides, now that we have a new member, it seems like a good step for us to take. Do you agree as well, Eric? Hold on, there's still one problem. Uh, what's that? Now that we've reached the most important topic, I bluntly come forth with what's been on my mind the most my mind the entire time. I never said that I would join this club. Monica may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made any decision. I still have other clubs to look at, and um, I lose my train of thought. All three girls stare back at me with dejected eyes. But I'm sorry, I thought. Hmm. Uh, the girls exchange glances before Monica turns back to me. I guess, I guess I need to tell you the truth here. The thing is, we don't have enough members yet to form an official club. We need four. And I've been trying really, really hard to find new members. And if we don't find one one more before the festival, I am defenseless, defenseless against these girls. How am I supposed to make a clear-headed decision when it's like this? I feel terrible for letting everyone down in this situation. Besides, the club itself seems pretty relaxed. <coughs> So if I'm writing poems, it is the price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls. <coughs> How about coughing? Is that a price? Right. Okay, I've decided then. <coughs> I'll join. One by one, the girls' eyes lighten up. Oh my goodness, really? Do you really mean that, Eric? Yeah. It would be fun, right? <coughs> I have something at the back of my throat, and it's not fun. You really did scare me for a moment. I mean, if you just let me, or if you just left after all this, I would be super pissed. Not the cupcakes? Eric, I'm so happy. We can come at an official club now. Thank you so much for this. You're really amazing. No, I'm not. I'll do everything that I can get, I can to give you a great time, okay? Uh, thanks, I guess. Okay, everyone, I think that with that, we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone remember tonight's assignment. Write a poem and bring it to the next meeting so we can all share. Monica looks over at me once more. Erica, I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. Hey, hey, yeah. I can really impress the class star Monica with her mediocre writing skills. I already feel the anxiety blowing up inside me. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chat as Yuri cleans up the tea set. I guess I'll be on my way then. <clears throat> okay. I'll see you tomorrow then. I can't wait. I can. With that, I depart the club room and make my way home. The whole way, uh, my mind wanders back and forth between the three girls. Matsuki, Yuri, and of course, Monica. Will I really be happy spending every day after school in the literature club? Perhaps I'll give the chance to grow closer to one of these girls. Alright. I was need to make the most... Most of my circumstances, I'm sure good fortune will find me. I guess with that starts with writing a poem tonight. So now is it just going to be out of two? You've unlocked a special poem. Would you like to read it? <coughs> <coughs> no, but I will. Mm -hmm. Oath in G.I. Sral. Question mark. Okay. Good to know. Well, okay, well, I'm obviously going for Yuri again. Which means just find really... Oh, oh. Dark. Alright. Um. Um. This is, uh... Oh, sh... Um. Um, there's a, um, infinite 
disoriented. Uh, disarray. Essence. Analysis. Or an ending. Um, vibrant. Alone. Cage. Existence. Pure. Oh, I, I messed with the last one. Hi again. I don't like you. I'm glad to see you didn't run away along us. Ha ha. It is not too late. As I shift my legs. Ah. This hurts the legs. Nah, don't worry. This might be a little strange for me, but I at least keep my word. I'm back at the literature club. I was the last one to come in, so everyone else is already hanging out. Thanks for keeping your promise, Eric. Thanks for the screwed up face there. Hope this isn't over too overwhelming of a commitment for you. Making you dive headfirst into literature when you're not accustomed to it. I thought she was Oscar the Grouch for a second. Oh, come on, like he deserves any slack. You already had to be dragged here by Monica. I don't know if you plan to just come here and hang out or what. But if you take, don't take us seriously, you won't see the end of it. Um, you kind of block my words here. Can I go to history? Um, now I can go to history. Nesuki, you certainly have a big mouth for someone who keeps her manga collection in the club room. Mm. Nesuki finds herself stuck between saying Monica and manga. Manga is literature. Swiftly defeated, Natsuki plops back into her seat. I'm sorry, Eric. We'll make sure that you put uh, to put your comfort first, okay? Yuri shoots Natsuki with a disappointed glance. Um, anyway, now that you're in the club and all, perhaps you might have interest in picking up a book up a book to read. Well, I can't really say no either way. Like you said, I'm in this club now. So it feels right for me to do something like that, if you ask. Well, wait. I didn't mean it like that. Uh, or you. If you don't really want to, then forget I said anything, I guess. Uh, no, it's not that, Yuri. I want to try and be part of this club. So even if I don't read often, I'd be happy to pick up a book if you wanted me to. Are, are you sure? I just felt like, well, as vice president and all, that I should keep you and get, or sh that I should help you start it on something you might like. Yuri reaches into her bag and pulls out a book. I didn't want you to feel left out, so I picked out a book that I thought you might enjoy. It's a short read, so it should keep your attention even if you don't usually read. And we could, you know, discuss it if you wanted to. That this is, how is this girl accidentally being so cute? She even picked up a book she thinks I'll like, despite me not reading much. Yuri, thank you, I'll definitely read this. I enthusiastically take the book. Phew. Well, you can read it at your own pace. I look forward to hearing what you think. Now that everyone's settled in, I expected Monica to kick off some kind of some scheduled activities for the club. Well, that doesn't seem to be the case. Your face is already buried in a book. I can't help but notice her intense expression, like she was waiting for this chance. Moonball and Natsuki is rummaging around in the closet. <coughs> um, I'm really curious to talk to Yuri a bit more, a little bit more. True. Well, the same, I would feel bad for distracting her from reading. I catch a glimpse of the cover of her book. It looks like the same book that she lent me. More than that, it seems to be on the first. She seems to be on the first few pages. Uh, crap. I think she knows me looking at her. She sneaks another glance at me, and her eyes meet for a split second. But that only makes her hide her face deeper in the book. Sorry, I was just spacing out. I mutter this since I made her. Sensing I made her unco feel uncomfortable. Oh, it's fine. If I was focused on it, I probably wouldn't have noticed in the first place. But I'm just rereading a bit of this, so... That's the book you gave me, right? Mm-hmm. I want to reread some of it. Not for any particular reason. Just curious, how come you, you have two copies of the same book? Uh... Well, when I stopped at the bookstore yesterday... Uh, that's not what I meant. I mean, I just happened to buy two of them. Ah, I see. There's something fairly obvious here that Yuri isn't telling me, but I decided to let it go. I'll definitely start reading it soon. I'm glad to hear that. 
Once it, start, once it starts to pick up, you might have a hard time putting it down. It's a very engaging and relatable story. Is that so? What's the story about anyway? Well, mm, I look at the cover of the book. The book is titled Portrait of Markov. There's an ominous looking eye symbol on the front cover. Basically, it's about the religious camp uh, that was turned into a human experiment prison. And all the people trapped there have this trait that turns them into killing machines that lust for blood. But the facility gets even worse, and they start selectively breeding people by cutting off their limbs and asphyxiating them too. Oh, oh, that might be a little bit of a spoiler. But anyway, I, I'm really into it. The book, I mean. Not the thing about the limbs. I mean, I am just, just take a knife, chop it right off, and stick it on a wall. And that's how horror games are made, children. That's kind of... That's kind of dark, isn't it? Yuri made it sound like it was going to be a nice story, so that dark turn came from nowhere. Uh, are you not a fan of that sort of thing, Eric? No, it's not that. I mean, I can definitely enjoy these kind of stories, so don't worry. I hope so. Yeah, I totally forgot that Yuri is into those things. She's so silent and reclusive on the outside, but her mind seems to be completely different. It's just that the, this kind of story is the kind that challenges you to look at life from a strange new perspective. When horrible things happen, not just because someone wants to be evil, but because the world is full of horrible people and we're all worthless anyway. Wait, 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 wait. I was told to go into... go. No, it's not settings. I was told to go into my history when, when Black Riding was here. Wait, wait, wait. Then suddenly... I'm, I'm rambling, aren't I? Wait, wait. Um... Uh, Okay, well I went into my history, and, uh, yeah, I'm rambling, aren't I? Not again, I'm sorry. Hey, don't apologize, I haven't lost interest or anything. Well, I guess it's alright then, but I feel like I should let you know that I have this problem. When I let things like books and writing fill my thoughts, my whole body what no okay um that's why i had to go in the history um i kind of forget to pay attention to other people i don't see it um uh i i don't it's not in my history so i'm sorry if i end up saying something strange Please stop me from starting to talk too much. Wait a minute. There is a setting. Text speed. I can turn that down. That's... I really don't think you need to worry. That just means you're passionate about your reading. The least I can do is listen. It's a literature club after all. Ah. Uh, that's... Well, that's true. In fact, I might as well get started reading it, right? That made me jump. <laughs> yes. I mean, you don't have to, but... Aha, what are you saying? Dot, dot, dot. Let me just get the book. I quickly retrieved the book that I had put into my bag. Alright. It's fine if I sit here, right? I slip into the seat next to yours. Uh, yeah. Are you sure? You seem a little apprehensive. That's... I'm sorry. It's not true that I don't want you to. It's just something I'm not very used to. That is reading in company with someone. I see. Well, just tell me if I end up distracting you or anything. Alright. I open the book and start the prologue. I, I soon understand what Yuri means about reading in company. It's as if I can feel her per presence over my shoulders and read. I don't want to skip anything, and I'm scared because I know that in this scene we're reading at the desk, and it shows her beside me, and that gets scary. It's not any particular bad thing. Maybe a little distracting, but the feel is somewhat comforting. You're using the corner of my eye. I realize that she's not actually looking at her own book. I glance over. It looks like she's reading from my book instead. So, sorry. I was just bathing in the feeling of your body heat what no what hey what 
Um, I, you really need, you really apologize a lot, don't you? I, I do. I know I want to read what it said. Why can't you tell me what you said? Wait, like was setting them back up in the history. Um. Okay. I I do. I don't really mean to. Sorry. I mean. Ah ha ha. Here, this should work, right? I slide my desk until it's up against Jerry's and hold my book more between the two of us. Ah. I suppose so. Here, timidly closes her own copy. Once we, once we each lean in a bit, our shoulders are almost touching. It feels like my arm, left arm is in the way, so I insist on using my right hand to hold the book open. I guess that makes it kind of difficult to turn the page. Here. You takes your left arm and holds the left side of the book, between your thumb and forefinger. Ah. See, now this is what I'm worried about. I feel like there's something coming and I'm getting scared. I do the same with my right arm on the right side of the book. That way I turn the page and Yuri slides it under her thumb after it flips to her side. But in holding it like this, we're huddled even closer together than before. It's actually kind of distracting me. It's as if I can feel the warmth of Yuri's face and she's in the corner of my vision. Are you ready? Uh, to turn the page. Uh, sorry. I think I got a bit, a li I got a bit distracted for a second. I glance over at Yuri's face again and her eyes meet. I don't know what, how I'll be able to keep up with her. Uh, that's okay. You're not used to reading, uh, to, to reading, right? I don't mind being patient if it takes you a bit longer. It's probably the least I can do, since you've been so patient with me. Yeah, thanks. Continue reading. Yuri no longer asks me if I'm ready to turn the page. Instead, I just assume that she finishes the page before me, so I turn it on my own viol volition. I continue the first chapter in silence. Even so, turning each page almost feels like an intimate exchange. My thumb gently letting go of the page, letting it flutter over to her side as she catches it under her own thumb. Hey, Yuri. This might be a silly thought, but the main character kind of reminds me of you a little bit. I skipped something. Her face did something. Uh, no, I don't relate to this character at all. Definitely not. I'm getting worried. Really? I was just thinking the way she second guesses the things she says and all that. Uh, that's what you were talking about. Sorry. I thought you meant something else about her. Something else? Never mind. <laughs> I'm not liking this at all. Uh, we didn't even get that far yet. So I don't know why that came into my head. Haha. <laughs> Yuri, are you feeling alright? Now this, this is all new. Uh, Yuri's been a little fidgety ever since we started reading. You can rest if you're feeling sick or something. Your breathing is a little... My breathing. Yuri puts her hands on her chest as if to feel her heartbeat. I didn't even notice. Anyway, I'm fine. I just need some water. Yeah, she, she looks like she wants to consume someone's soul. Alright, don't push yourself. Yuri stands up and practically rushes out of the classroom. What on earth was that about? Eric. Didn't something happen just now? Or did something just happen, happen just now? Uh, I have no idea. Yuri was acting a little strange, I guess. So you don't know anything? Sorry, I can't say I do. Are you worried about her? Oh no, not really. I was just making sure that you didn't do anything to her. Stab. Shoot. Uh, no, nothing. Haha, <laughs> don't worry. I believe you, silly. Yuri just does this sometimes, so it's nothing alarming. Alright, if you say so. 
Anyway, why don't we start with sharing our phones with each other? Uh, shouldn't we wait for Yuri? Well, she might be a while, so I just figured we'd get started without her. Is that okay? Yeah, I was just asking. I stand up, I make a mental note of where I left off in the book, then slip it back into my bag. Okay, well, Natsuki won't like it, so I'll get that over. I told Natsuki I was interested in her poems yesterday. It is probably only fair if she shared my, if I shared mine with her first. Uh. What the fuck? Wait, what? The, what? What? <laughs> come again? Come, come again, please, please. No, I don't, I don't even want to think about. It. Okay. If you're not going to take this club seriously, then go home. What? What? Harsh. Would you expect me to believe that you actually put effort into this? Do you think I'm stupid? I'm not a writer. Maybe it's not very good, but yeah, I did put in effort. We all start somewhere, right? If you're not proud, uh, if you're not, if you are still proud of the first film you ever wrote, then I'd like to read it. Painful to think about. Fine. Well, sorry. You'll get better anyway. I tell you what to improve, but you're better off just trying again. Fair enough. Well, to each their own, I guess. Anyway, I guess I gotta share mine now. Knowing you'll probably think it's stupid. I feel like this poem's a little bit different. A little bit. Eagles can fly, monkeys can climb, crickets can leap, horses can race, owls can seek, cheetahs can run, eagles can fly, people can try, but that's about it. That is a little different. I believe so, that is a little different. Yeah, I told you that you weren't going to like it. I like it. What? Just be honest. I am. Why are you so convinced that I wouldn't like it? Well, because... Everyone in the high school thinks that writing has to be all sophisticated and stuff. So people don't even take my writing seriously. But isn't the point of poems for people to express themselves? Writing style wouldn't ma make your message any less valid. Yes, exactly. I like when it's easy to read, but it hits you hard. Like in this poem. Seeing everyone around you do great things can be really disheartening. So I decided to write about it. Yeah, I understand. But the other nice thing about simple writing is that it puts more weight on my wordplay. Like I set up for a rhyme at the end, but then I made it fall flat on purpose. It helps bring out the feeling in the last line. So you did... I guess more went into that than I realized. That's what it means to be a pro. I'm glad you learned something. You didn't expect that from the youngest one here, did you? Yeah, I guess not. I decided to humor her with the last comment. I don't really care how old everyone is, but if Natsuki is feeling proud, then I won't take that away from her. Monica. Hi. Ow. It's a ha. It's a ha. Ah. I'm tired. I got like five minutes of sleep. Having a good time so far? Uh, yeah. Good, glad to hear it. Uh, by the way, since you're new and everything, if you ever have any suggestions for the club, like new activities or things we can do better, I'm always listening. Don't be afraid to bring things up, okay? Alright, I'll keep that in mind. First, I'll be afraid to bring things up. I'm much better off just going with the flow until I'm more settled in. Anyway, want to share your poem with me? It's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. Ha ha ha, don't worry, Eric. We're all a little embarrassed today, you know? Let's sort of the barrier we'll learn to get past soon. Yeah, that's true. I have my poem to Monica. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm. Ah, whoa. Ow. Okay. I must adjust. And... Attempt. I don't know how well this is gonna work, because I've got my laptop on one leg. Boom. Sideways. 
Okay. Is that good? Kind of like there. Great job, Eric. I was going ooh in my head while reading it. Surely metaphorical. I'm not sure why, but I didn't expect you to go so far for something or go for something so deep. I'm guessing I underestimated you. It's easy for me to keep everyone's expectations low. That's why I always counts that's why it always counts on me when I put in some effort. Aha, that's not very fair. Well I guess it worked anyway. You know that Yuri likes the kind of writing, right? Writing that's full of imaginary and symbolism. Sometimes I feel like Yuri's mind is just totally detached from reality. I don't mean that like it's a bad thing though. But sometimes I get the impression that she's just totally given up on people. From the black text, yes. She spends too much, so much time in her own head that's probably a much more interesting place for her. But that's why she gets so happy when you treat her with a lot of kindness. I don't think she's used to being indulgent like that. She must really starve for social interactions. So don't. She must be really starved for social interaction, so don't blame her for coming on a little strongly, like earlier. I think if she gets too stimulated, she ends up withdrawing and looking for a long time. Suddenly the door opens. Yuri, I'm back. Did I miss anything? Not really. Well, we all started sharing our poems with each other. Uh, already? I'm oh, sorry for being late. No need to apologize. We still have plenty of time, so I'm more, I'm more glad that you took all the time you needed. All right. Thanks, Monica. I suppose she has to get my poem now. Anyway, do you want to read my poem now? Don't worry, I'm not very good. You sound pretty confident for someone who claims not to be very good. Well, that cause, that's because I have the sound of confident. That doesn't mean I always feel that way, you know? I see. Well, let's read it then. Hole in the wall. But he wasn't looking at me, confused or frantically gla ga glaze at my surroundings. But my burned eyes can no longer see color. Are there others in the room? Are they talking? Or are they simple poems on flat pe uh, sheets of paper? The sound of frantic scrawling playing tricks in my ears. The room begins to crinkle. Closing in on me, the air I breathe dissipates before it reaches my lungs. A panic, but there must be a way out. It's night there. He's right there. Swallowing my fears, I brandish my pen. So what do you think? Wait, does that work? Yeah, I'm still, I'm still. So what do you think? Hmm. It's very freeform. Is that what you call it? Sorry, I'm not really the right person to ask for feedback. Haha, <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, it's kind of the style I've gotten pretty popular nowadays. That is, a lot of poems have been putting emphasis on the timing between words and lines. And performed out loud, it can be really powerful. What was the inspiration behind this one? Ah, uh, well, I'm not sure if, you, if I know how to put it. I'm guessing you could say that it's some kind of emphasis, empathy recently. It's been a f influenced my poems a bit. And why are you trying to make me say that word again? Epiphany. Yeah, something like that. I'm kind of nervous to talk about deep stuff like that because it's kind of coming on strongly. Maybe after everyone is better, to better friends with each other. Anyway, here, Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes when you're writing a poem or a story, your brain gets too fixated on a specific point. If you try so hard to make it perfect, then you'll never make any progress. Just force yourself to get something down on paper and tidy it up later. Anyway, you think about this. If you keep your pen in the same spot for too long, you'll just get a big dark puddle of ink. So just move your hand and go with the flow. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. I guess Yuri. Dot dot dot. As Yuri reads the poem, I notice her eyes lighten. Expectational. Uh, what was that? Dot dot dot. Did I say that out loud? Yuri's first cover. Yuri first covers her but ends up covering her whole face. I uh. It's going to hate me. Um. You really didn't do anything wrong, Yuri. Uh. That's. I, I guess you're right. <clears throat> what am I getting so nervous for? Haha. <coughs> <coughs> Yuri -ha. takes a breath. So, what kind of writing experience do you have? Okay, I'm worried about hers because she's been the only one with black text so far. The use of imaginary metaphors indicates you've written a lot of poetry before. 
Really? Wow, that's a huge compliment coming from you. This is actually my first time, really. Huh? Your stares at me blankly, then looks over at my poem again. Well, I know that. I just meant, um... Your trails off, unable to find an excuse. She stretches her finger along the words in the poem as if breaking it down more thoroughly. Yeah, okay. This is the reason I was I was able to tell. It's just there was there are spe specific writing habits that are usually typical of new writers, and having been through that myself, I've learned I kind of picked up on them. I think the most noticeable thing I recognize in new writers is that they try to make their style very deliberate. In other words, they tend to pick up writing styles separate from the topic matter, and they for form fit to the two together. The end result is that both the style and the expressiveness are weakened. When Sherry finds her train of thought, it's as if, her, as if her demeanor totally changes. Her stammer is completely gone, she sounds like an expert. Of course, that's not something that you can be blamed for. There are so many different styles of mm. skills and techniques that go into writing even in a simple poem. Not just finding them and building them, but getting them to work together is probably the most challenging part. It might take you some time, but it all comes with practice and learning by example and trying new things. I also hope that everyone in the club gives you valuable feedback. Well, one told me I sucked, and another one told me to not keep my pen in the same spot for too long. That's <coughs> 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 you can be a little bit biased, though. Biased, how? Um, well... Never mind. I shouldn't be talking about people like that. Sorry. It's fine. I'm not sure if you're apologizing to herself, to me, or to Natsuki. Do you mind if I read your poem now? Please do. I'd love to share my process, my thought process behind it. Your smile is dreamily, as if it's a rare opportunity for her. Which itself is kind of funny. After all, it is, isn't this supposed to be the literature club? Ghost under the light. The tendrils of the hair illuminate beneath the amber glow, bathing. It must be this one, the last remaining street laid to have withstood the fest of time or test of time. The last yet to be replaced by the sickening blue green hue of the future. I bathe quick or yeah, I bathe calm, breathing air at the present I, but living in the past. Light flickers, I flicker back. Okay, so the uh, this poem has the same name but a different wording, right? Same with the other ones. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm such a terrible handwriting. What? I wasn't thinking that at all. But it took you a long time to read. Uh, well, I just don't read script very often. I actually think your handwriting is pretty. Uh, that's a relief. Also, I like the poem. Even though it's short, it was really descriptive. It wasn't too short. I usually write longer poems. Not at all. I'm really glad you liked it. I'll be honest. Since it's our first time sharing, I wanted to write something a little more mild. Something easy to digest, I suppose. Are you into ghosts, Yuri? Hugh, Hugh. I actually, the story isn't about ghosts at all, Eric. Really? I must have totally missed the point. Well, I suppose you did glance over it at all. After all, remember that po poets often express their own thoughts, feelings, and experience in their own work. They usually do more than a simple story or paint a picture. In this case, perhaps the subject of the poem is only being symbolic compared to a ghost. Lurking in her lie at last, remaining place of comfort, unable to let go of the past, and soon to be left with nothing. That's a lot more subtle in putting it that way. I hadn't even thought of that. That's impressive. Uh, it's nothing, really. Yours was impressive, too, so... Nah, if anything, I could probably learn a, a, a thing or two from you. You think so? Yeah, of course. Uh, you know, I was really nervous about doing all of this, but in the end, I enjoyed it. I'm going to keep it doing my best for you, Eric. Ah, uh, me too. Phew. I guess that's everyone. I glance around the room. That's a little more stressful than I anticipated. It's as if everyone is judging me from the med mediocre writing ability. Even if they're just being nice, there's no way my poems can stand up to theirs. That whistle sounded off. That one was good. This is literature club after all. I sigh. I guess that's what I ended up getting myself into. Across from Monica's writing something in her notebook, my eyes land on Yuri and Natsuki. They gingerly exchange sheets of paper sharing their respective poem. 
As the reading attendant when watching each other's expressions change, Masuki's eyebrow fur in frustration, meanwhile Yuri smiles sadly. What's with this language? Uh, um, did you say something? Oh, it's nothing. Natsuki dismissively returns to the poem to the desk with one hand. I guess you could say it's fancy. Uh, thanks. Yours is Q. Q. Didn't you completely miss the symbolism or something? It's clear about the feeling of giving up. How, uh, <coughs> how can that be cute? I, I know that. I just meant language, I guess. I was trying to say something nice. Uh, you mean you have to try that hard to come up with something nice to say? Thanks, but it really didn't come out nice at all. Um, well, I do have a couple of suggestions. Hmm. If I was looking for suggestions, I would have asked someone who actually liked it. Which people did, by the way. Monica liked it, and Derek did too. So based on that, I'd gladly give you some suggestions of my own. First of all, excuse me, I appreciate the offer, but I've spent so long establishing my writing style. I don't expect it to change anytime soon, unless, of course, I come across something particularly inspiring, which I haven't yet. Hmm. And Eric liked my poem too, you know. He even told me he was, he was impressed by it. Asuki suddenly stands up. I didn't realize you were so invested in trying to impress our new member, Yuri. Hey, that's not what I... You, you, you're just... Yuri stands up as well. Maybe you're jealous that Eric appreciates my advice more than he appreciates yours. Huh? And how do you know that he didn't appreciate mine? Are you that full of yourself? Oh, yay, I get to choose again, don't I? I, no. I was full of myself. I would deliberately go out of my way to make everything I do overly cutesy. You, well, you know what? I wasn't the one whose boobs magically grew size, size bigger every, as soon as Eric started grow, showing up. Natsuki. I'm Natsuki, that's a little... This doesn't involve you. Taking out your own securities on others like that. You only act as young as you look, Natsuki. Me? Look who's talking, you wanna be... Oh, do I have to go on? Edgy. Sorry, that's my lifestyle. Is, is it too much for someone of your, your mental age or to comprehend? See? Just saying that proves my point. Most people learn to get over themselves after they graduate middle school, you know? If you want to prove anything, then stop harassing others with your sickening attitude. You think you can contrabalance your toxic personality just by just dressing and acting cute? The only th th cute thing about you is how hard you try. Whoa, be careful or you might cut yourself on the edge, Yuri. Oh my bad, you already do, don't you? Did you just accuse me of cutting myself? What the... What the fuck is wrong with your head? Yeah, go on. Let Eric hear everything you really think. I'm sure he'll be head over heels for you after this. Ah, uh, suddenly Yuri turns towards me as if she didn't just notice I was standing there. Eric, she's she's just trying to make me look bad. <laughs> That's not true. She started it. How did I end up? Here? What? 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 I can't read that. I can't read that. Oh God! I don't like this at all. Well, you know I'm gonna go with Yuri. I am scared, and I can't save this time. Oh, do I, am I not allowed to choose? Oh, it's just, just going to casually get closer? Okay. Yeah, keep, keep clicking that one. Oh, hey, how's it going? Um, dot, dot, dot. Dot, dot, dot. Um. Hey, Eric. Why don't we step outside for a little bit? Okay. Okay, go go into my history. Go into my history. Um, how did I get dragged into this in the first place? It's not like I know anything about writing, but whomever I agree with, they'll probably think more highly of me. So of course that's going to be. Okay. Sorry about that. They really shouldn't be. They really shouldn't have tried to get you involved. 
It's just probably better for us to stay out of this. We'll go back inside once they're done yelling. Haha, <laughs> some president I am, right? I can't even confront my own club members properly. I just wish I was able to be a little more assertive sometimes. But I never hate it when it's time to put my foot down against others. I am overly creeped out. And I'm a little scared right now because the music did completely shut off. Oh, God, I'm not ready to go on. You understand, right? Anyway, if this makes you want to spend less time with the others, then that's fine. I'd be happy to spend time with you instead. Suddenly, Natsuki runs out of the classroom. But she quickly runs away. Oh, dear. Well, it looks like they're done. I didn't mean it at it. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. Yuri is rocking back and forth in her desk with her palms on her forehead. Yuri, I didn't mean it. I, I believe you. I have no idea what Yuri might have said to Natsuki. Or did. Eric, please don't hate me. Please, I'm not like this. There's something wrong with me today. It's fine, Yuri. You know you didn't mean it. Besides, I'm sure Natsuki will forgive you. We'll, we'll forget all about it by tomorrow. Completely. Anyway, the meeting is over, so you can go home now if you want. Yuri looks at me like she wants to say something. She keeps glancing at Monica. Uh, you can go first, Monica. I'd like to stay a little bit longer. I'm the president, so I should be the last one out. I'll wait for you to be done. Dot, dot, dot. Well, I'm the vice president, so please let me take that responsibility today. It kind of sounds like you want you don't want me around for something, Yuri. It, it's not that. It's not that. I just, I didn't get much of a chance to discuss my book with Eric. It would just be embarrassing with you listening. Sigh. I guess I don't really have a choice, do I? Oh, I'm sorry for causing trouble. Nah, that's not allowed, that's not allowed, that's not allowed. Uh, I'm sorry for causing trouble, but I really appreciate you. You understand. Understand. Okay. Um. I guess I'm going with hers again. Okay. A little creeped out. <clears throat> and this is episode is going to be about an hour and a half. I'm going to guess. Um. Oh wait, that was the wrong one. Um, okay, okay, no, 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 let me get my head wrapped around this, <sighs> god, this took a dark turn, and I knew it was going to, <coughs> but I mean, like, off the deep end, dark. Okay, I've gotten a little more comfortable over here the past couple of days. Mentioning club room the usual scene greets me. Welcome back, Eric. And hi, Yuri. I'm not sure if it's me or if it's Yuri's expression. But the weight of yesterday's quarrel still st still hangs in the air a little. Um, Yuri glances over her shoulder looking around the room. Nasuki's reading manga at her desk. And surprisingly, Monica isn't here yet. Suddenly, Yuri takes my arm and pulls me to the corner of the room. About yesterday. I, I really need to apologize. Nothing like that has ever happened before. And something just came over me, I guess. I wasn't acting mentally sound. Please don't think we're usually like this. Not just me, but Natsuki as well. Yuri, I'm happy that you were considering and uh, considerate and apologized. You don't have to worry too much. Even though I've only been here for a couple days, I could tell something was off yesterday. We were just a little extra sensitive because it was our first time sharing poems. But whatever it was, it didn't make me think of any less of you. I had already decided that there was no way that you can be a bad person. And now that you're apologizing, I really, I know you really didn't mean it. Uh, Eric, don't say those kinds of things so frankly. They're making me a little too happy. I'm really glad that you're such an, or, uh, such an understanding person. 
and I'm really glad that you joined this club. Everything is a little bit brighter with you around, and... Oh, sorry, what am I saying right now? I just... Hey, have you guys seen Monica? Ah, no, I haven't. I was also kind of wondering where she was. Man, Yuri, I'm guessing you haven't either. Yuri is clearly taken aback by how calmly Natsuki is addressing her. No, no, I haven't. Jeez, this isn't like her at all. I know it's stupid, but I can't help but worry a little bit. What? Why are, why are you looking at me like that? <clears throat> um, Natsuki, about yesterday. I just wanted to apologize. I promise I didn't mean any things I said. And I'll do my best to stay under control from now on. So, Yuri, what the heck are you talking about? Did you do something yesterday? Uh, jeez. Whatever's on your mind, I'm sure it was nothing. I don't even remember anything bad happening. Okay. You're the kind of person who worries too much about the little things around you, aren't you? Aren't you? Dot dot dot. But... I'll accept your apology anyway, if it helps you feel better about it. Besides, it's kind of nice to hear, but since I, w I was always afraid you, s you secretly hated me or something like that. Hee <laughs> hee. No, not at all. I don't hate you. Haha. <laughs> well, you're kind of weird, but I don't hate you either. Masuki turns to me. You're still on trial, though. I'm on trial? Um, I plead innocent. <clears throat> I did not kill that, uh, that wolf, or the child, or the wolf and the child, but the duck, yeah, I'll take responsibility for that duck. I'm sorry, Donald. I'm sorry. But there was just something in my eye, and that knife, I didn't, I didn't expect it, and then, then, then nothing happened, right? Hey, suddenly the door swings open. Sorry I'm super late. Are you, are, 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 there you are. I didn't mean to be late. I hope you guys weren't worried or anything. Nah. Well, Natsuki was. I, I was not. Haha. <laughs> what took you so long anyway? Uh, well, my last period today was study hall. To be honest, I kind of just lost track of time. Haha. <laughs> that makes no sense, though. You would have heard the bell ring at least once. You must not have heard it since I was practicing piano. Piano? That wasn't where you played music as well, Monica. I don't give me more credit than I deserve. I guess I'll have, I've just been practicing for a while, but I'm still not really good yet. Still. That must require a lot of dedication. So I'm still impressed. Oh, uh, well, thanks, Yuri. You should play some something for us sometime. Aha, uh -huh, that's... Monica looks at me. Well, I'm working on writing a song that's not quite done yet. Maybe once I get a little bit better, I will. That sounds cool. I look forward to it. Is that so? In that case... I won't let you down here. Monica smiles sweetly. Um, uh, I didn't mean any, any pressure or anything like that. Haha, <laughs> don't worry. I was hoping that I could share it with you anyway. I guess that's why I've been practicing um, so much recently. I missed it. I missed that one. I missed that one. I see. I see. I see. I'm not sure if Monica was referring to the whole club or just me. In that case, best of luck. Thanks. So I didn't miss anything, did I? No, not really. I chose not to bring up anything that the three of us talked about. Besides, that Suki has really run off into the closet. Eric, um, since your compliments put me in a good mood, I was wondering if you'd like to spend some time together today. I mean, in the club. Yeah, definitely. I planned on it anyway. Okay. Can we start now? Let's find a place to sit. Ah, I'm being a little forceful, aren't I? I'm sorry. My heart just won't stop pounding for some reason. Don't worry about it. If anything, it's nice to see you have so much energy. Yeah, but I need to try and calm down. I won't be able to focus on reading like this. Take your time. Yuri takes a deep breath and pulls a, a copy of the book out of her bag. Actually, I have a request. Do you mind if I take some, make some tea some, first? Not at all. Thanks very much. If there's someone thing that my reading, or that can make my reading time here any better, it's a nice cup of tea. Not to mention for yourself as well. Yuri stands up and makes her way to the closet. I follow and watch her as she retrieves a small pitcher from water from the filter inside. Can you hold this for a second? Sure. Yuri hands me the water pitcher and I also fetch an electric kettle. 
I'm going to plug this into the teacher's desk and I'll go get some water. She walks past me and says, curl down on the teacher's desk. I simply watch her movements. To my surprise, she, she, the way she moves really contrasts her speaking mannerisms. So just because of her long leg here, it appears to be elegant and methodical. Okay, may I have the water pitcher? Thanks, I'll be right back. Uh, I might as well walk with you. That, that's okay. You stay here. It won't take long. Pitcher in hand, Yuri hurries out of the classroom. Okay, that's something that's different. That I remember. Because we walked out and then Monica was like, that's kind of a one-person job. But this was like, this is something that usually, that I think I did in the fourth episode. And I'm already doing it in like the first hour of this one. Uh, did Yuri leave you again? No, it's not like that this time. She's just filling up the water pitcher to make tea. Oh, okay. Sorry for misunderstanding. Ten minutes pass. Yuri said it wouldn't take long. Is something holding her up? I'm bored just waiting here, so I decided to go look for her. Let's see. The most logical place for Yuri to be would be the nearest water fountain. I start heading down the hallway. Ha ha. Ha ha. What's that noise? It's coming from around the corner. It sounds like breathing. Ha. A sharp inhale like someone is sucking the air through their teeth. Are they in pain? Or is just corner and peer around it? I'm scared. Yuri. Ha. Uh. Um. 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 I'm back. Okay, so I was going. What the? What? What? What's what? 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 the? That's the, that's, that's the, that's the, that's the, it would be this way for suicide, this is. Okay, I'm back. Thanks for waiting patiently. Eric, do you like oolong tea? Uh, yeah. Anytime, anything is fine. Very well. You reset the temperature on the kettle to 200 degrees. Now it's time to get the teapot. You really do this pro uh, uh, properly, don't you? Wait. Like, I wonder the history. Um. Um, okay, so nothing in there is there. You really do this properly, don't you? Of course, I should, I shouldn't do any less when I'm making tea for others. Even if I'm not an expert at tea or anything. Haha, <laughs> in that case, well, you'll be even more impressed. Uh, perhaps I will. Here he finishes tea pot and begins measuring the tea leaves. To my surprise, she starts... She even starts humming a little to herself. You must be in good mood now. Is that so? I was letting it show. And you noticed. I was doing a bit of thinking. I decided that I would try to express my or try expressing myself a little more. <coughs> Turns out it's not very hard for me to do. When it's you who's around me anyway. That's great, Yuri. Just don't push yourself too much. Yuri, you're always worrying about me, Eric. It's very endearing. That's... Yuri wasn't kidding. I don't even know if I can keep up with this. I'll watch Yuri pour a cup of tea for each of us. Erica, I have another request. Do you mind if we sit on the floor today? Is it because of your back? It's a little bit easier on my back. Told you. Told you. I, I know these types of things. I'm a smart ginger. I can read with my back as well. Rather than bending over at my desk. Ah, sorry. I didn't realize. No worries. I just have back pain fairly regularly, I, so I do my desk to manage it. Is that so? I wonder why that is. It's most likely because of my, uh, my, your posture, right? I always hunched over like that while reading. Yes. I have terrible reading posture. So that's why I should sit on the floor. Fair enough. I'll go ahead and get the book. I'll treat the book from my bag. I have some chocolates as well. Yeah, this is, this is... Uh, as if we're we assume the same reading position as last time, each holding one half of the book except this time. Our bodies are even closer to each other. I can't see too well. Yuri slides closer until our soldiers are touching them. I'm supposed to be focused on reading like this. Yuri wasn't, was always kind of cute, but when she's being less apprehensive, it's almost more than I can handle. Your teacup. Yuri hands me my teacup. Holding it with my hand, that's not holding the book. I end up positioning my hands. It's even harder to focus. Because now I need to worry about making sure I don't accidentally touch her chest. Meanwhile, Yuri hasn't noticed a single thing. She wears her intense reading 
her expression, and I can only presume the world around her has faded away. I use all my willpower to focus on reading. After a few minutes, I finally managed to relax a little. I put the teacup between my legs and fumble with the chocolate wrapper. Uh, sorry. I briefly look over the book to finish opening the wrapper. You can have as much as you want. Oh, that's... that's okay. I won't take any. Are you sure? Well, if I touch it, then I might get smudges on the page. Ah, uh, you're right. I didn't even think about that. My bad. No need to apologize. I'll hold the book, okay? Are you sure? Of course. Ugh, I don't like this again. Yuri opens the book with Yuri opens the book with both hands. She holds it so that she so that I don't have any hard time harder time of time reading with it from it. But as a result, her left arm is practically resting atop my leg. Well, in that case, Yuri is already totally focused on reading again. I take a chocolate candy and pop it into my mouth. Then take another chocolate. I hold it up to Yuri's. She doesn't even look away from the book. She simply parts her lips as if the situation was completely natural. That means I can't stop here. I apprehensively place the chocolate in her mouth. Okay, um, um, I got a text. And I'll read it in a minute. Just like that, Yuri put, uh, closes her lips over it. Uh, Yuri's expression suddenly breaks. Did, did I just... Yuri looks at me like she needs to confirm what just happened. Um, Eric, so, sorry, I guess I shouldn't have done that. Uh, okay, okay, you're not allowed to do this game. You're not allowed to just cut the music and pretend like it's all natural. Because now I'm scared again. Uh, Yuri starts to breathe heavily. I, I can't. Eric, suddenly Yuri forcefully grabs my arm and jerks me to my feet. A teacup gets knocked over. Eric. My heart. I'm scared. I need an adult. I need an adult. Because this is completely different. My heart won't stop pounding, Eric. I can't calm down. I can't focus on anything anymore. Can you feel it, Eric? Yuri suddenly presses my hand against her chest. Why is this happening to me? I feel like I'm losing my mind. I can't make it stop. It makes it even makes me not want to read. I just want to to look at you. Um ha. Um ha. Are you just gonna say hi again? Ha! She's got crazy eyes going on. Um, it's time to share poems. What the fuck? Let's go with Natsuki! Yay! Um, yeah, just as I thought. Question mark, Eric, come on. I'm not stupid. I know how much time you've been spending with Yuri. It's obvious that you care more about impressing her than trying to improve your writing. Put it bluntly, it's kind of pathetic. Ouch. Why are you even in this club, Eric? Honestly, I thought getting a new member would help everyone get more involved together. Not exclude each other even more. This is such a stupid activity anyway. Look, I'm not in a good mood today and I just really don't want, don't feel like talking right now. Please go away. Okay. Guess we'll go with Yuri. I've been waiting for this. Let's see what you've written for today. Dot dot dot. Yuri stares at the poem with a, a surprised expression on her face. Do you like it? Eric, this one it might even be better than yesterday's. How'd you even pick up on this so quickly? Just yesterday I was telling you the kind of techniques worth practicing. Maybe that's why. <coughs> You did a good job of explaining. I really wanted to try to giving it more imaginary I imagery. Sorry, Yuri visibly swallows. Even her hands appear sweaty. Ah, uh, that makes me happy. It's so amazing to feel like I'm valued, Eric. Everything that you read is a treasure to me. My heart pounds just holding it. Ah ha ha! I want to write a poem about this feeling. Is that bad, Eric? I'm not being weird, right? 
I'm having a harder time than usual at concealing my emotions. I'm kind of embarrassed. But right now, I just want you to read my poem, too. Okay? Wheel. Okay, this one's not the same. A rotating wheel, turning on axle, grinding, bolt, bolt head, lintering gearbox, falling sky, seven... Seven holy stakes, a docked ship, a portal open to another world, a thin rope tied around a thick rope. <coughs> <coughs> I tried clearing my throat and it ended up choking me. A touring harness. Parabolic gearbox, expanding universe, time callable by slipping cogwheel. Existence of God, swing, swimming with open water in all directions, drowning. A prayer written in blood, a prayer written in time, devouring snakes with human eyes. A thread connecting all living human eyes, a kaleidoscope of holy stakes, exponential gearbox, sky of exploding stars, God disproving the existence of God, a wheel rotating in six dimensions, 40 gears and a ticking clock, a clock that ticks on second for every notation on the planet, a clock that ticks 40 times every time it ticks every, time, every second time, a bolt head of holy stakes tried to, tied to the existence of a docked ship to another world. A kaleidoscope of blood written in clocks, time devouring prayer, connecting a sky of forty gears and open human eyes in all directions. Breathing gearbox, breathing bolt head, breathing ship, breathing portal, breathing snakes, breathing god, breathing blood, breathing holy stakes, breathing human eyes, breathing time, breathing prayer, breathing sky, breathing wheel. Haha, -ha. it doesn't really matter what it's about. My mind has been a little hyperactive lately, so I had to take it out on, on pen. That's a uh, that is uh, a pen full fell out of your backpack yesterday, so I took it home for safekeeping. And I um I just really like the way that it writes. So I wrote this poem with it, and now you're touching it. Haha, -ha. I'm okay. What did I just dot dot dot? Can we pretend this conversation never happened? You can keep the poem though. <clears throat> okay. And Monica, Eric, I think you saw something earlier that you weren't supposed to see. I didn't want to have you tell you this, but I don't think I have a choice. I'm going to save right now, too. Okay, so I lost all my save spots. That's fine. I didn't, have to, I, I, I didn't think I have a choice. It's getting kind of dangerous for you to spend so much time with Yuri. I don't know why, but she seems pretty easily excitable when she's around you, which shouldn't be the problem in itself. But when Yuri gets too excited, she finds a place to hide and starts cutting herself with a pocket knife. Isn't that kind of messed up? She even brings a different one to school every day, like she has a collection or something. I mean, it's definitely not because she's depressed or anything like that. I think she just gets something, some kind of high from it. it. Might even be like a sexual thing. But the point is, you've kind of been enabling her. I'm not saying it's your fault, though. But I guess that's why I had to explain it all to you. So I think if you're keeping, if you keep your distance, that would probably be the best for her. I'm gonna go with the bad choice, and I'm gonna keep going beside her because that's what I've decided, right? That's something I was gonna do for this playthrough. While you're at it, don't be shy to spend a little more time with me. To put it lightly, I at least get have it together in the head. I know how to treat my club members. Okay. See now, now Monica is trying to be like. Yeah, I'm obviously the better choice here because, you know, I, I, I'm actually mentally stable and I am good. I'm the best. But anyway, you want to read my poem now? I like the way this one turned out, so I hope you do too. Save me. The colors, they won't bright and beautiful colors. Flashing, expanding, piercing, red, blue, green, and endless cacophony of meaningless noise. The noise that won't stop, violent gra granting waves, waveforms, squeaking, screeching, piercing, sine, cosine, tangent, like playing a like playing a chalkboard on a turntable, like playing a knife on a breathing rib cage, endless, oh, of meaningless. Delete her. Delete her. Cacophony, stop, sine, cosine, tangent, knife, breathing, grip, cage. Wait a minute. 
If I put the C. No. Okay, that won't work. I thought. Sorry, no, it's kind of abstract. I'm just trying to, um, well, never mind. There's no point in explaining. Anyway, here's Monica writing, here Monica's writing tip of the day. And sometimes you'll find yourself facing a difficult decision. When that happens, don't forget to save your game. You never know when, um, who am I talking to? Can you hear me? Tell me you can hear me. Anything. Please help me. Okay. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Yeah, I want to read it. Can you hear me? Okay. <laughs> I thought that came from beside me. I thought my dead sister was talking to me again. <sighs> oh god. This has got me really fucked up. Okay, everyone. We're all done reading each other's poems, right? There's blood filling on the side of the page. We have something we need to go over today, so if everyone could come sit in the front of the room. Is it about the festival? Well, sort of. Uh, do we really have to do something for the festival? It's not like we can put together anything good in just a few days. We just end up embarrassing ourselves instead of getting new members. <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> That's a con concern of mine, too. They're mine as well. I remember that line. I don't want to click this. I don't want to click this. I don't want to click this. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, that's a concern of mine as well. I don't really want to do with any last minute preparations. Don't worry so much, we're going to keep it simple, okay? Look, I know everyone's a little been a little more lively ever since Eric joined the club. Or ever, ever since Eric joined, we started with some club activities. This isn't the time for us to become complica or complacent. We still only have four members. And the festival is our only real chance to find more, you know? What's so great about getting new members anyway? We already have enough to be consider considered an official club. More members will just mean everything gets noisier and more difficult to manage. <clears throat> Natsuki, I don't think you're looking at it the right way at all. Don't you want to share your passion with as many people as you can? To inspire them to find the same feelings that brought you here in the first place? The literature club should be a place where people can express themselves like they can do anywhere else. It shouldn't be a place so intimate that you never want to leave. I know you feel that way too. I know we all do. So that's why we should work hard and put something together for the festival, even if it's something small. Right, Eric? Uh, oh, come on. You can't take advantage of Eric to agree with you just because he doesn't know how to say no to anything. Look, Monica. Do you really mind if... Okay. It's a big hole! Oh, you need to stop with that. Do you really think any of us here joined the club with, any, with other people in mind? Yuri never even talked until Eric joined. As for me, I just like it better here than I do at home. And Eric is even passionate about literature in the first place. And that's everyone. <clears throat> Sorry, but you're really the only one who's so who's so interested in finding new members. The rest of us are fine like this. I know you're president and all, but you really should. But should you really consider our our opinions for once? Monaco's truly taken aback by Natsuki's words. That's not true at all. I'm sure you and Eric want to get more members too, right? Dot dot dots. I don't know about Yuri, but I'm kind of indifferent. If I showed as much enthusiasm as Monica wanted, then I would probably be lying. Still, if it's up to me to rescue this situation. Um, no, Natsuki's right, isn't she? This club, it's not it's nothing more than a place for a few people to hang out. Why did I even why did I think that everyone here saw it the same way as I did? Well, that doesn't mean that we're against getting new members or anything. Eric, why did you even join this club? What were you hoping to get out of it? Well, that's not really something I'd be honest about, is it? 
In fact, I remember you weren't even going you weren't even given a choice not to join. Monica sits down and stares at her desk. What's the point of all this anyways? What if starting this club was a mistake? Now you've done it, Natsuki. But me? I spoke my mind. <clears throat> Is it a crime to be honest? It's not about being honest. It's about word choice. Besides, you've got no right to speak for everyone else in the club like that. You don't understand at all. I just... I just want a place that feels like a nice... Like nice... It feels nice to hang out with a few friends. Is there a problem with the club being that for me? There aren't... There aren't many other places like that for me. And now Monica wants to take it away from me. She's not taking anything away. Nowhere? It's not the same. It won't be the same with the direction she wants to take it. If I wanted that, then I would have just joined any other stupid club. But this one, I mean, at least for a little bit of time, things were nice. As Suki starts packing up her things, I'm going home. I feel like I don't belong here right now. Not Suki. As Suki ignores Yuri and walks out of the classroom. This is bad. I don't know what to do. Well, do you have an opinion for the, on the festival? I, I don't know. I'm kind of indifferent, I guess. But who cares about that obnoxious brat? I mean, I like how nice and quiet the club is right now. And I'm just happy with you here. But still, I'm the vice president. It's not right for me to ignore my responsibilities like that. Nobody would cry if she killed herself. I should do my best to be consider everyone's consider everyone's perspective and make the decision for right for the club. I am having the biggest emotion screw with my head right now. What about you, Eric? What do you want to get out of the club? He repeats the same question as Monica. Decided giving an indirect answer is better than nothing. I think the most important thing is for everyone to get along. And for the club to provide something that you can't get anywhere else. I don't think it's about how many members, but rather the quality of each member. That's what will end up like that, that's what will end up making the Leisure Club a special place. I see. I really agree with you. Each member contributes their own qualities in a special way, with each changing in, in members, the identity of the club as a whole will change too. Why is there blood dripping from her eye? I just noticed that. <clears throat> I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing. <coughs> Actually, blood dripping from your eye is a bad thing. Stepping out of your comfort zone once in a while. So if you would like to help Monica with the festival, then I'm on your side as well. Alright. Well, maybe we can all talk to Natsuki tomorrow. Yuri nods. Hey, Yuri. Hey. Um, I know things were a little awkward yesterday. But I feel like you deserve to know that I still think you're a wonderful vice president. And also a wonderful friend. But Monica, I want to do everything I can to make this the best club ever. Okay. Me too. Yeah. Let's all go home for today. Talk about the festival tomorrow. Okay. I look forward to it. Shall we go, Eric? Um, please don't take this wrong way, but... I'm going to chat with a little with it, bit with Eric before we leave. Just see what he thinks on his time here and all that. It's important to me as president. Yuri looks a little troubled, but she doesn't protest. Okay. I trust your judgment, Monica. In that case, I'll see the two of you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Monica waves Yuri, Yuri waves as Yuri exits the classroom. I'm gonna save again. I'm gonna save. I'm gonna say this game, it's music. It's literally, it changes how you feel like that. Now I feel sad again. Phew. Things have been a little hectic lately, haven't they? Eric, I just wanted to make sure you're enjoying your time at this club. I'd really hate to see you unhappy. I feel kind of like I'm responsible for that as president. Stop fading out. And I really do care about you, you know? Oh, God.
I don't like seeing the other girls give you a hard time with how Natsuki is and everything. And you're being a little bit, you know. Haha. <laughs> Sometimes it feels like you and I are the only real people here. You know what I mean? But it's weird because in all the time you've been here, we've hardly gotten to spend any time together. Uh, I mean, I guess it's technically only been a couple of days. Sure, I didn't mean to say something weird. There are just some things I've been hoping to talk to you all about. Things I only, I know only you could understand. So that's why... Wait, not yet, no. Wait a minute. Oh, so the game made her stop. I'm saving there. The game made her quit talking to me. Yeah, I know you're gonna you're gonna break the game now. Okay, um, I've been on sideways element for a while. Whoops. Sorry. My laptop is in between my legs. Yes. Close the program. Okay. Um, first thing. Uh, I'm not going to leave it to your discretion on the title of the videos anymore. I'll leave them in the description. But holy hell, earth, this thing is getting weird. They're there. They're like, they're, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's getting interesting, which is good. I honestly, I don't want to stop playing this game right now. I really want to continue on. I want to finish the game. But that's my problem with a lot of games. As soon as they get good, I can't put it down. Uh, excuse me. I had the same trouble with Subnautica, right? And I couldn't put that down once I started getting into that. But I got some jobs I got to do. And I got... Someone I gotta respond to. Someone very important to me. Actually, my girly friend. Yeah, she's not in the best mood. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go get her, and I'm gonna go spend time with her. But thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this, let me know. If there's any tips you guys want to give me, please tell me. I don't know what I'm doing. It said delete her. I don't know if I should delete her. I don't know who her is. I think I'm, I'm guessing Yuri. But Monica is crying out for help. Like, she feels like she needs to be noticed more. Natsuki hates me as usual, but I might do another playthrough on this game to try and go for the other girls, right? I don't know. We'll find out. But thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed, let me know. If there's other games you guys want to see me play, let me know. Um, I've been really busy. I'm going to try and get videos out oh, hopefully daily. If not, then minimum five at a week I, I can try streaming on the weekends but i don't know what games i'm gonna stream uh but yeah no that's me for today thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed let me know as again i hope you guys did enjoy and as always i will see you guys later